Hey y'all, we're at Walmart. We're gonna do a quick Walmart haul. Now you guys know I am not the queen of Walmart couponing. This is kind of new to me. I was trying to do Target this week, but Target wasn't looking that great by the time I got around to it. Some of the offers that we were gonna submit for, they were no longer available. So I'm like, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and do Walmart. Let me know in the comments if you guys like Walmart videos, Walmart couponing hauls. The only thing I really don't like about Walmart is there's not like a rewards program where you can roll money like you came with extra bucks at cvs or walgreens cash at walgreens you have to pay your out-of-pocket costs and then wait to get your money back via rebate apps so let me know in the comments is that something you guys are interested in we're going to try it out i'm not going to get tons of stuff like i said but we're going to get a few items and i think most of this stuff is going to be free first we're going to be picking up the axe i'm going to go ahead and grab the stick stick deodorant we're going to pick up two of these at 5.97 each total for these two is about 12 dollars. however we are getting back a six dollars when we buy two on Shamium. Then we're also going to be getting back $3 for each axe on Ibotta. So that'll give us back our $12 that we paid out of pocket here at Walmart. Now you guys remember with Shopmium, once you submit your receipt and it's been processed, your money automatically goes to PayPal. So what I'm planning to do with my Shopmium offers this visit is once they get put into PayPal, whatever card that I used to pay for my items today at Walmart, I'm going to withdraw those funds right back into that account because I don't want to keep taking, not really a loss, but like taking a hit on my bank accounts and then getting the money back from the rebate apps and then not putting that money back into my bank account. I don't know why, but it just seems like that kind of makes me a little bit flustered. Next, we're gonna be grabbing some of the Dove Vitamin Care type deodorants. It's either the stick deodorant or the whole body. Now, I also noticed these Peely tags. You guys know I might have to grab some of those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all, don't judge. I might have to grab some of these Peely tags. Oh my gosh, I did not even know. What is this? I didn't even know this was, I've never seen these before, you guys. I'm gonna have to get some of these too, maybe not today, but let me check the rebates and see what's going on with this. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is pick up a two of the whole body deodorants. This one I'm gonna be submitting back for the $4 on Shopmium. This one I'm gonna go ahead and use the $3 hang tag. And then I'm also gonna be getting back $5 for each on Ibotta. Then I'm gonna also try and get 400 swag bucks. And I don't know, and I can't remember if you can also submit a Shopmium receipt to swag bucks for the same product and get both back. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm hoping we're going to get back 400 points on swag bucks, which would be $4. Um, that would drop us down to 296 total for the both. We're also going to be picking up the newer Dove body wash and the newer packaging. So they're $9.97. We're going to go ahead and pick up two of these. We've got um, a 700 point offer coming back on swag bucks when we buy two. So that'll be $7 back for that. We're also going to be getting back $4 on Ibotta for both. So that's $8 back there. Then I'm also going to be submitting back for $4 on one of these on Shopmium. That drops us down, you guys, to 94 cents total or under 50 cents per item, which is obviously a great stack up price. Over here in the trial section, we're also picking up one of the Febreze Fabric To Go sprays. This is the 85 mil, so they're $1.97, but we're gonna be getting back $2.30 on Ibotta. So these are gonna end up being a 30 cent profit. We're also gonna be picking up some of the Upi Kotex pads. These are the 40 count and they're 314. So let's pick up two packs of these. We're gonna be getting back $2 when we buy two on Shopmium. And then we're also gonna be getting back $2 for each on Ibotta, making these just like 14 cents per pack, plus maybe some extra fetch points. I did see some offers on Shopkick for Upi Kotex, but I don't think those are gonna be the correct size. Let's also pick up a Suavitel. It's gotta be the Shed Shield. So it's 447 and this is a 46 fluid ounce. We're picking up one of these and all we have to do with this it's submit back for three dollars and fifty cents on ibotta that would make this a final cost of just 97 cents unfortunately that ibotta offer is a limit of one so we're only going to be able to redeem this once otherwise your girl would have picked up a lot more you know what i am i'm going to submit this one on my other ibotta account i have one ibotta account on each one of my phones so i'm going to go ahead and do that but if you guys only have one ibotta account only pick up one so i'll tell i'm going to have to check out with this separate as well so that we can make sure and have a separate receipt from that one and since we're going to be checking out separate with one of our Suavitel, we might as well go ahead and grab this easy little Febreze freebie again. So $1.97. This will go on my second Ibotta account and $2.30 back for this, making it a small profit as well. Let's also pick up some children's Claritin for under a dollar after rebate money coming back. So I'm going to pick up the liquid. It's over here in the corner. It is a four ounce and it is $12.26. If you guys want to get the chewables, you can, or if you want to get the adults, you can just make sure you're scanning these on Ibotta and you're getting the right size count. 
So I'm going to pick up this one for $12.26. We're getting back a $4 on a shop meme. Then we're also going to be getting back a $4 on Ibotta. Then I'm going to be submitting for 910 shop cakes, giving us back $3.64. So we're getting back $11.64. We're paying $12.26. Final cost for this will be under 70 cents. Okay, total for everything is $87.26. The only coupon that we're using is this $3 Peely coupon that was on one of the Dove deodorants. That'll drop us down to $84.26. Then after all the rebate money we're getting back, final cost for everything should be about $6, maybe a little bit less. I'm going to show you guys my Walmart receipts. I made a little whoopsies. Don't ever do this, you guys. Okay, so Walmart is linked in with Ibotta now. Do not check out at Walmart with a bank card that you have linked to your Walmart account. Because if you do, you're going to have an issue submitting your Walmart receipt. Now, I knew better. I know better. But when I got up to the register, I forgot to unlink my bank account from my Walmart account. So now when I went to submit my large Ibotta receipt, I'm getting an error message that I'll pop up right here. Like the receipt was already submitted because I used a bank card that was linked to my Walmart account. And what's even better is, you guys, I didn't have any cash back offers clipped on my Walmart account. So now my receipt is kind of like in limbo. So I had to reach out to Ibotta support. I'm waiting for them to email me back. They should not have an issue crediting me for the items that I got. So right this second, I cannot show you the money that I got for that. Now, this other smaller receipt where it's just one of the Suavitel and one of the Febreze, that was fine. I didn't have issues with this. And when my other phone charges up, I'm going to submit this to Ibotta for the $3.50 on the Swap Patel and $2.30 for the Febreze. Then here is the larger receipt. We paid exactly what I thought we would out of pocket. Now that's after our one $3 Peely coupon that we had for the Dove. So $84.26 for the both receipts and we got back $3.64 on Shopcake for the U by Kotex. A total of $43.60 coming back on Ibotta. $20 on Shopmium and also $17.50 on Swagbucks. So our Suavitel actually gave us an additional 50 cents on Swagbucks. I did not think that it would because the Suavitel offer I don't think includes the pet shield. But when I submitted my receipt to Swagbucks, it automatically linked that Suavitel in. Yes, you guys heard that correctly. I got an additional $6 back on Swagbucks, and that was for the Axe deodorant. There is an offer on Swagbucks. Save $6 when you buy two Axe deodorant. Now, that's the same offer on Shopmium, and my Shopmium receipt is still pending. So is that going to boot out my Axe offer on Shopmium, or is it going to slide through? I'm not 100% sure. So between Shopcake, Ibotta, Swagbucks, and Shopmium, I'm hoping to get back $84.74. But we paid $84.26, so I'm hoping this is going to be a small moneymaker. And then the other thing I was going to ask you guys, how do you guys manage with this Walmart not being able to use um, like store rewards to pay? You're paying everything out of pocket. Do you guys have a separate bank account that you withdraw all of your rewards back into? So you're still using the same rewards kind of over and over again, and you're not using your regular bank card. Do you guys stockpile your rewards and withdraw them at a later date? Let me know in the comments. This is brand new to me. I really don't like spending $85 of my own money and then waiting to get it back. I don't like that, but you guys let me know what works for you and what you guys have been doing. And let me know if you guys want to see more Walmart hauls and I'll talk to you later. Bye.